Okay, so we like went camping with like fucking Kolya's Mordhau guild, but nah, like somebody who well, like came camping with us brought. I don't like, even like, think Leo's that guy. Friend. That guy did not wasn't even the Mordhau player. He wasn't. He even wasn't. Part of the guild. He, he wasn't. Yeah, but he felt at home because everyone well, he else was, looked he, like a white oh, supremacist. No, shut up. He was just like he was just like mutual friends with mutual friends of people in the guild, and then like he became part of the friend group because of that. But he's a right. juggalo. He is a juggalo. <laughs> he's. He, An interesting. He made um, sure to let us know that he was a juggalo like every second <laughs> sentence. I mean, you don't have to let someone know. You already went camping with full black and white clown face makeup. <laughs> I wish. That would be great. No, literally, we were sitting on our fucking like camping chairs. Like around, like, we didn't have a campfire there. Well, we did, but we, we didn't have our chairs around. We had our campfire around like the cooking range. Yeah, we had like a little like. <laughs> Gas grill? Yeah. Gas like, stove? Like a, like this, a camping stove. This poor camping stove that hardly fucking generated any goddamn heat at all. Yeah, it took fucking like four hours to make a burger on it. Yeah, it was oh. great. It was so good. But no, we were fucking sitting there in our camping chairs and dude like is telling a story and he's like, and I'm a juggalo, so, and we both, I, I remember at least I'm fucking laughing in my chair. I'm pretty sure she is too. <laughs> yeah. And we're just like, we're just like losing our minds. I'm like, he's like, then he starts describing to me, like, how people treat each other at, like, these festivals, and how, like, they treat each other like shit, and I'm like, why would you want to do that? He's like, well, it's all about be ballpark being a juggalo, man. I'm like, I would never do that in my yeah. entire life. That sounds no, so stupid. He's like, yeah, man, people, like, would they wake up at the ash crack of dawn, it's like six in the morning, the sun is coming out. People are opening your tent, they're spraying you with water and going, Whoop whoop, what are you doing sleeping, motherfucker? And I'm like, that sounds really fucking stupid. Who would ever do that to themselves? He's like, it's part of the gathering, dude. You would understand it if you were there. <laughs> Who the fuck is this fucking guy? <laughs> yeah, he, he missed the current gathering in our yeah, local yeah, location he... to be, like, at the campsite. I'm sure he missed it. Oh. I'm sure he missed it. <laughs> My God, and he really liked me. He re he really was like clinging on to me. Like the f he thought the friendship was forming. Like every other sentence, oh. it was like you remind me of my little brother. I like you, man. And like he was like giving me fist what bumps was and he shit. On? I don't think anything. I think Cloud juice. Okay, just smoking clearly. Me. He got incredibly like, drunk oh my at 3 a.m. And <laughs> he, like, walked over to, like, the neighboring campsite. And he, like, oh. fucking got into a fight with somebody. Yeah. The he, like, in the next morning, he, like, he, like, told us this, like, story. Okay, okay, okay. So, like... The campsite next to us was like another group of people, and they were like partying and they were playing yeah. loud ass music, oh, like right next annoying. to our tent, like up to 3 a.m. Proper, that. proper gap year dipshit behavior. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, like they were loud and they were getting like sit faced over there. To be fair, they probably were saying goodbye before they moved off to college because it's like move in week. <laughs> there were a bunch of old codgers. Oh. A bunch of old fucks. Okay, but uh, like our juggalo van friend. life motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, all day our juggalo Seriously. friend kept insisting that they're probably so drunk that you could just like walk over and like blend in. That's probably what he did. <laughs> That's what he thought. And then like. <laughs> okay, so here's what we believe happened. He walked up, somebody asked him to leave, and then he got like unnecessarily like defensive and angry. <laughs> But, he is like, a juggalo. The way he told the story, it made it seem like he was, like, fucking trying to fight him. Like, hey, what are you doing here? Get the fuck out of our campsite. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. probably just asked him politely to leave. Yeah, like... They'd be like, hey, bro, who are you? Yeah, who are you? Why are you at your campsite? Can you please, like, head out? God, this old man, he got into my face and he kept trying to, like, fight me this grown-ass man he was all up in my grill yeah yeah that's that's man. also something that we thought was so fucking funny is the fact that he kept using the phrase grown-ass man he's a grown-ass man himself like he was 25 like, we're, we're all he adults like, like what the fuck i just remembered something holy fuck what? the what? juggalo was wearing freddy fazbear socks oh, yeah. what he was telling this fucking story in no. sandals i'm pretty sure he's wearing like socks and sandals freddy I think, fazbear was, it, was he wearing like jesus shoes like the leather like sandals leather like, sandals yeah yeah, okay. Yeah. Hippie awesome. sandals. That's what I thought. He was literally wearing Jesus sandals and Freddy Fazbear socks. I think I I think I noticed it while I was weeping about him being a juggalo, and then I went, Are those fucking Freddy Fazbear socks that you're wearing right now? And then he looks at it he looks at us and he goes, Ar 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 I gotta die right now. I think I think when I said I cannot be here right now. 
Oh my god! I really could not.